Fat Price here. How are you guys? Um, today I'm going to be doing a, a screencast from a Mac Mini, but before I do that, I just want to go through the specs of it before you, before I do the video. Um, it is a 2011 Mac Mini. It is the newest model, so you lose the disk drive, but with Apple trying to go everything digital, it doesn't really matter because you get everything through the App Store or off the internet. But, um, it is a 2.3 gigahertz Core i5 processor. It has two gigabytes of 1333 megahertz DDR memory. Um, if you want to, I advise you to do it yourself because it's a hell of a lot cheaper. You can get that configure uh, done up to four gigabytes or eight gigabytes of RAM. I I go do eight gigabytes yourself because you can buy off of other world computing eight gigabytes for 50 bucks I believe so do it yourself with Apple is going to charge about 200 bucks extra to have them do it and um, it has it comes with the 500 gigabyte storage at 54 revolutions per minute you can get that configurable up to a 750 gigabyte or 72 revolutions per minute or a uh, 256 gigabyte solid-state drive which that's going to that's expensive right there. Um, the graphics is just the standard graphics, the Intel HD Graphics 3000 processor with 288 megabyte of DDR3 um, shared with main memory. Uh, the video support that it has, uh, Thunderbolt, HDMI, DVI, and uh, has support for dual display and video mirroring. Audio, it has an audio line in mini jack. Um, audio line out, headphone mini jack, HDMI port supports multi-channel audio output, support for Apple, iPhone headset and microphone, and built-in speaker. Um, sorry, I'm reading all the specs off of the computer actually. It's a hell of a lot easier. Just go to Apple's website and read it off. Um, Thunderbolt can move data up to 10 gigabytes per second. The FireWire 800 port can move data up to 100 megabytes per second. And it has four USB 2.0 ports which can move up to 480 megabytes per second. As a, obviously, like I've said numerous times, HDMI port and SDXC card slot, which is your standard SD card. Um, we got a gigabyte ethernet port and an audio in and out. Um, it has an 802.11 a, B, G, and N. Um, it is Bluetooth 4.0 compatible. Um, I don't think you guys really care about how much power it uses. Um, but in the box, you know, you, you get the Mac main, you get an HDMI to DVI adapter, you get a power cord, and printed in electronic documentation. Um, well, the next time you guys see me, I'm, well, you're going, not going to see me, you're going to hear me, but I'm going to be doing a video cast and just going to go over and show you how it, how it performs. I'm still on the basic minimum of two gigabytes, but I'm going to give you guys a little quick rundown, show you the apps that I have and how it performs. Well, I'll catch you then. Peace. Welcome to my Mac Mini. Like I said, I'm just going to do a. I'm trying to make a, a quick screencast, but try to go over the main stuff with it. Um, like I said, this is only with two gigabytes of RAM. As you can see up here, I'm only at 320. But this app is actually called um, Free Memory. I know when you see it, oh, it's not going to do nothing, but actually it does. Uh, you right click, you know, you get the options for it. You just hit Free Memory and it'll sit there and it'll try to bring back all the memory that's been used by other applications that are closed. Um, here, um, Got this from the App Store. It's called new, uh, it's News Ticker. It's 99 cents. Um, what you do is you can set up your. Oops. You set up your. Actually, you can choose from embedded RSS feeds or you can add your own. Like down here, I, I added crackberry.com and I added 9 to 5 Mac. But, and I. Ones that were already in there was. I like a, up here, I got CNN, Yahoo News, and Gizmodo. <coughs> Sorry guys. Um, oh, obviously I should have done this. Um, yeah, 2.3 gigahertz Intel Core i5. 
there you go oh and I'm running 10.7.3 I'm actually kind of excited for mountain lion which I do already have don't have mountain lion but I do have the message app that makes me I can talk to iPhones now well not just iPhones but iPads and I, uh, iPods and get that little delivered and red thing um actually let me close that actually I'll just leave it going but um my launch pad those are the apps that came with it except I added Adobe I downloaded a thing that installed the Adobe Air stuff here's the apps that I've added here's my games not bad Uber Strike uh, I got it for 99 cents no wait take the back I got it for free on a little special deal and it's a pretty fun game played online just kind of like modern warfare warfare and everything play online with other people um live doc weather that's what gives me my weather down here 47 degrees out in the middle of february it's kind of weird uh wallpapers that's actually how i got my wallpaper that you see right there and i got other stuff with it um sorry Earth 3D light. It what it does. It's supposed to represent what the Earth looks like from the space station, I believe so. And so it, it becomes your background, or you can make it a screen saver. But I mean, I had it has a background though. But it's it's a moving background that the Earth will rotate, and it's your view from the supposed to be the view from the space station. Um, gun assembly. This assembly that's kind of fun. You can watch the computer tear a gun down. And your video, any video converter. Um, what VLC does, that's another video player that supports more video formats or any type of uh, media format. But what any video converter does, any video converter actually converts it from one media file to another media file so that you can actually run it off of QuickTime. Um, Doc Library, Library is actually an application that helps me change my doc. As you can see down here, I got little blue LEDs and a black kind of reflective um, dock. Clam XAV is a virus protection kind of, you know, you just run it whenever you choose. Plane control light, pretty basic, you guys probably know that off the, off the app store. Stunt machine lights, another game, you just do stunts within a car, drift mania, that's self explanatory, so is motorbike GP. Splash Shop Streamer, that is what? puts my Mac Mini display on my tablet, which is a BlackBerry Playbook. I know I got an Apple computer, but yet I don't have an Apple iPad. I actually hate the iPad, but love Apple computers. Sorry, Mac computers. Actually, I don't know what they're called now, because you don't go into a Mac store to buy a Mac now. You go into the Apple store to buy a Mac, so I'm not sure what it is. Um, Mac Tracker, it just has uh, open it for you. It's just a uh, application has all the history from all the past Macs. You know, you got Macs from this year all the way back to the very first Macintosh in 1984. If it actually pops, I'm just going to close it. I'm going to move on. Ooh, look at my temperature up there. 205 degrees. Whew. It's cranking it. Back to launch pad. Um, Obviously, I got BlackBerry Desktop, so I can back up my tablet. I got Twitter. Um, back to news ticker. Uh, Google SketchUp, that's actually pretty cool. Uh, you do 3D rendering, in it, and I have actually made a 3D rendering of my room in it. Um, Mix is just like Virtual DJ Home. You can mesh songs, uh, stuff like that. Open Office is a free application for like so you can do word documents you can do slideshows and I think you can do spreadsheets in it views is my torrent thing that I use um, so right now what I'm gonna show you is open up Safari that's I mean right there that's pretty that's faster than what a Windows computer would open up Internet Explorer. Well, these are just my most visited websites. Um, obviously, I'm, I'm 
big on YouTube and everything. But yeah, I mean, it's pretty fast. From YouTube to Yahoo, it'll, it'll go. I mean, that's faster than our Windows computer that we have at our house. Um, close that. Oh yeah, and also with Line, you get... Um, you don't get spaces, you get a uh, mission control, which is this. So when I, if I open up Safari again and I go to the full screen app for it, and I go to my mission control, I actually put, since it's a full screen application now, it puts it onto the other desktop. So I still have my main desktop open and I can just go back and forth between them. Pretty nice. Um, I just don't like my temperature being like that. The high. Um, I'll get iTunes going. iMovie. System preferences. So I got pictures I don't really care for everybody to see. I'm just going to open up for you guys. Twitter's open. Hmm. I yeah, might as well open up something else. It's going. Like I said, it's only got two gigabytes of RAM, so it's the bare minimum. And everybody says that's actually like like OS uh, Lion doesn't even run at its full potential on two gigabytes of memory. Oh, at least that's what I've read online and everything. I've heard that it needs at least four gigabytes to be fully optional and efficient. Um, so yeah, I, I got a lot of these open. iMovies is opening. I don't know why it's bouncing. But, um, so yeah. So got it. I can still go back. I can go back over to my web browser since I got all that stuff running. Let's just check out nine to five. That's how well that loads. So yeah, it's, it still loads pretty fast. I know it's it's refreshing it though, but basically it's it loaded up already. So yeah, and oh yeah. If, if you're new to Mac, something that I didn't know about this right away, I had to actually look it up to figure out how to do it. Um, to close an app, you can't. If you hit X, like this is my my web browser, you come down here and look at it. The dot means it's still it's still active or at least it's still open. But if you come up here and you hit the X, but you go back down here and look at it, it's still there. So you can either come down to the app, right click, and choose quit that way, which is what I choose to do. I just find it easier. Or you can actually, I mean, to know up here, it will tell you what application you're on or whatever. Like, if I go to Twitter, it switches to Twitter. If I go to Safari, it goes back to Safari. And you just right click that, or I guess you can main click it and just go down and quit Safari. And it closes it, and as you can see down here, there's no dots. That means it fully closed it. Uh, but not all applications like that. This game, or this game right here, if I hit X, see, it's not there anymore. It, it fully closed it. Um, iMovie, I hit that. As you can see down here, it's open. Hit it. It'll go away. So not all applications are like that, but um, iTunes, um, Safari, email maybe a couple others are like that where you do excuse me have to force quit it other than just hit X and it closes by itself but um that is my review um don't want to make it too long sorry if I did make it too long for you guys but um I hope you enjoy it um you got any question or comment post it down below um follow me on twitter at nellyprice22 that's N E L L Y P R I C E 2 2. Um, I'll actually put the link in the description if I can. I don't, I'm not really sure how you do that yet. I'm still kind of a newbie. But, um, but yeah, I just wanted to give you guys the basics of a Mac Mini. And I hope you guys take it and use it at, to your advantage on what to purchase in the future. Um,